This is what we think of when we hear Great Barrier Reef, but this is the grim reality. Ground zero of the latest coral bleaching episode, these images taken by scientists in the state's far north. This one is by far the most extreme and we've seen three of these events now with just one degree of global warming. The scientists say a 700 kilometre section of reef in the state's far north has lost 67% of shallow water coral since February. The elephant in the room causing the bleaching is global warming. The good news, the reef will regenerate, but that will take at least 15 years if sea temperature levels don't rise. We have to take action at a global scale on global warming, and Australia should be a leader, not a laggard on this. It's our Great Barrier Reef. Pauline Hansen has it right. The southern end of the reef off Yapoon and up to Port Douglas has not been significantly affected by bleaching. The One Nation leader is under fire for her visit last week, where she told reporters the reef is fine. She was 1,300 kilometres from where this bleaching and where this coral death has occurred. Hansen is reportedly being investigated for touching the coral protected under heritage laws. The stakes are high for Queensland. The reef helps generate $5 billion a year for the tourism industry and directly contributes to 70,000 jobs. The state government has welcomed additional funding from the Commonwealth to help implement the 2050 reef plan, designed to keep the reef off UNESCO's in danger list. Ebony Cavallaro, Nine News.